And Minnesota House District 27B, which covers the Austin area, will be getting a new face come in January after current Representative Gene Poppy lost last week's election. ABC 6 News Good Morning reporter Samantha Boring caught up with the longtime representative to hear what she plans to do next. Samantha? Brianna, Rachel, Jean Poppy first served on the Austin City Council for eight years. Then she was elected to the State House and has been in her seat for 16 years. It seemed to suit me as far as the, the kind of work that it is. Representative Jean Poppy has been working for Minnesotans for 16 years in District 27B. But last week, Poppy lost her bid for re-election. And come January, she will no longer be a state representative. I'm still the same person I was, and you know, I'm I'm thankful to have had the opportunity. Looking back on her time in office, Poppy says she's proud of so many things she's worked on. The 13 and a half million dollars that we brought here for the Hormel Institute to be able to expand um, a world-renowned research institute. In one of her proudest moments, when we were able to change from a misdemeanor to a felony. Um, uh, the child restraint laws in Minnesota and that was something that I think um, just everybody came together. Even though the doors may close this January, she says things change. That's just how life is. In a democracy to always have people on both sides of the aisle running um, because you bring out more about what the issues are. And now Poppy will be passing the torch on to a new face. The woman she lost to last week. Um, when I called her last week, I just said, you know, one thing I think is important is to listen, you know, to really um, now to, you know, get a notebook and start talking to people. I was so appreciative of Representative Poppy because um, our race never devolved into mudslinging. We were really able to talk about issues. Patricia Mueller will be taking some time off from teaching at Austin High School to now represent District 27B. Started some listening sessions already with some of the um, uh, district, the city councils in, in the district. Hey, what are some of your hopes and dreams? What are some of your needs? And as for Poppy's future? The door is open for other possibilities and I'll just uh, wait and see what happens. The election between Poppy and Mueller was very close. It came down to just 612 votes. And another longtime lawmaker from the Austin area, Senator Dan Sparks, also lost the election last week. Republican Gene Dornink won by about 1,800 votes. Sparks has been a state senator for 18 years.